morning ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Thought I'd have breakfast out in the garden today to get the last of the British summer sunshine. Although I said as the sun goes behind the clouds, but autumn is definitely on the way because it's a bit, bit chillier in the mornings and evenings, a bit darker. In both, I think, official first day of autumn is 18th of September, which I'm actually looking forward to that as my favourite season. By the nice start of the morning, I had a nice run with Odin. He met a friend who I think started to know him at the end of the walk because they'd, they'd run around and play together I thought a good run off back to their own and follow me, we play with the ball, and then they come back over. And then towards the end, he just started jump on them and almost like he did, he just pushed them away. And they almost took me out three times, which was great. I don't know why dogs do that as they run towards you, they just run straight into your leg. It was the other dog that actually took me out, but well, almost took me out. But this morning, for breakfast, I have vitamin C just to help get rid of this, this cold flu thing. If you can't tell, I'm still quite nasally, it's all bunged up here, but I'm feeling much better than yesterday. I feel like it was just a, thankfully, it was just a 24 hour thing. So I'm going to enjoy this usual breakfast and of course cannonball coffee. So I'm going to have all of this, hopefully it doesn't spill. And then it will be off to dedicated to train. Now, last time I was dedicated, a lot of their machines were broken. And the reason I chose dedicated, I've still got membership there. I'm in a one, one year contract and I chose there because I had all the, the skis, the rowers, bikes, all that stuff that I needed for high rock training. But when I went to use them, all the skis were broken, all the rowers were broken. And they had 10 skis, 10 bikes and all that, so that might be a bit. But I just saw on Instagram yesterday that all their, obviously like their cable machines have been broken. And I saw yesterday that they've had all those repaired and refurbished, so it'll be good to have all my kit working, so we'll go and test some of that out. What's up, mister? Odin's growling in the background, he's growling at that, he's waxy whining. Odin, come here, come here. What was I saying? But yeah, I saw Instagram that they've recently had a full refurb of all their, their gym equipment and cables, so it'd be nice to see everything working for once. Mm. So I'm going to finish all this and then head to the gym. But in the meantime, we got White Odin is whining. And here we are at Dedicated the Super Gym, just finishing my pre workout in the car, waiting for that to kick in before we head inside. Now, I'm not sure what kind of session I'm going to do, whether I mic up and talk out the session. But the music can be very loud in here and I will most likely get copyrighted for it or whether I just do a voiceover and put myself in the corner of the screen or try and do a montage, you'll find that one in a minute. We're going to finish this pure workout the head and side. Got an upper body body willing session again today but because this is week, officially week one I'm going to start pushing the, the weight, pushing the intensity that a little bit so whether to go for the same as last week or increase the weight and push from there. I'm also going to add in a lot more machine work because I think I'm going to have these upper strength and bodybuilding days as sort of a, a free for all depending on where I train because if I train at work gym again, there's not a lot I can do there but if I go to pure gym or dedicated, there's a lot more variety and I can just mix it up a bit but I stick to the same four or five accession movements for the duration of the program and not mix things up too much with all that being said let's head inside and train and we are in that's what she said all he said I'm actually surprised that worked the first time because there's been issues with that in the past. But uh, kicking the session off with the flat dumbbell bench press. Only issue I have with these dumbbells here is they are rather large, so I'm having to take the dumbbells a little wider than usual to allow for the extra range and get more of a stretch, which you'll see here. As when I use the hex dumbbells, I normally bring them down and let one head touch the chest, whereas here, again, because they're big round heads. I can't stop with the injury, I apologise. I'm taking a little wider so my hands can go a little bit closer to the chest to make sure I'm getting that nice stretch on the chest. Moving on to probably one of my favourite cable lap pull down attachments. I always find it funny I've got a stand on the seat to actually change the attachments. But the reason I like this attachment is because I feel I, I really feel it in my lats. Whereas the other grips, they bother my shoulder a bit because of the rotation of my shoulder. But these allow for a, a neutral grip. Allows me to really focus and squeeze with the lats, really pulling the elbows down and in towards the waist. And also, I like to use a little bit of body English to get the weight moving, but still focus on controlling the eccentric. So, a slight lean back as I pull, but making sure I hold the squeeze for a second on the chest and then controlling that eccentric back to the top. Moving on to my vertical push, being a seated shoulder press, keeping a neutral grip again because that sort of preventive grip aggravates the shoulder. And what I really like about this shoulder press, well, most machines that matter, is to keep you locked into a specific range, not allowing you to deviate from that path. And the angle of this press keeps the weight slightly in front which gives a lot of tension and work on the front delt allowing me to press pain-free without having to take that 
weight too far back towards the crown of my head, which is where I'd normally press to. But this keeps that tension on the front delt, which is where I want to target. And it wouldn't be a trick to dedicate as well using the seal row. Again, one of my favourite back movements. It's hard to set up in the other gyms, but this is probably one of my favourite bits of kit, allowing to really target those lats and mid back. Again, it got its name because when you pull, you normally squeeze your glutes and your legs normally come up, making you look like a seal. But it's a fantastic one for the lats, getting that nice big stretch. I like to use straps for these just to really keep that focus on the traps and lats and to keep the forearms out of the equation. Uh, normally that'd be it for the session, but I couldn't help myself to add in these single seated arm rows, which are probably my favourite row machines out there, such as that chest support. And you may notice I am sitting at a slight angle to the row, and that is done on purpose to increase the stretch on my lats and traps to make them through slightly more range. It also feels rather nice after the previous two back movements, just to get that nice stretch on the lats, really open them back up. Again, yeah, not going too heavy here and just really focusing on the movement, really feeling that nice stretch and really controlling the eccentric. And after I'd finished these, I was going to finish just on an arm superset, but because I saw the bench up, I just thought I, I couldn't resist, so I did some seated cable flies just for that extra chest pump. And this is actually the first time I've ever done seated cable flies. So, through all my years of training, it's a uh, first which is a surprise for me it's been a long time since I've done any sort of fly movements so I've kept these fairly light and just kept the reps fairly high and got a nice chesticle pump and then it was finally time to finish on the arms supersets sticking with some single arm cable kickbacks again keeping the arm behind the body just to really shorten the long care of the tricep and then just some hammer grip rope curls hammer grip rope curls I think superset those couple of sets of these to to failure um, that was it. That was job done. Solid session. I hope you'll be back to dedicated for more sessions in the future. I felt like a killer Christmas being back at dedicated then with all the other machines, all the toys. Spent a little bit longer than I should have. I did a bit more than what was originally planned. I think you over whatever that is. I think that's class being recycled. Also, this is a bit of a test for me because I'm wrong in the car park. One, because the car is too hot for me to get in and drive because I'm still a sweaty mess. And two, I'm just sort of pushing out the boundaries a little bit by vlogging a bit more in public. But it's a great bodybuilding session. It's got me thinking about maybe doing like a full 12, 16 week bodybuilding focused phase after High Rocks, just to have a bit more size and obviously use those winter calories to good use. A worthy Christmas and New Year period. And the all I just do is just cover up. But the runs will stay in, so maybe a, a hybrid bodybuilding cycle. But that's for future me to worry about. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I'm going to head home now for some lunch. But in the meantime, stack on the squash. She's still got a few left. So if I don't end this video here, you won't see this clip. But if I'm doing every now and then, now. If you've enjoyed it, smash the like button. If you are new, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, all that jazz. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.